Good morning, everybody. Paulie from Paulie's Custom Skins. So, as I said in my Discord yesterday, today we are going to do create your own uh, container mod for in Mod Studio 2. Now, you must be on latest version of Mod Studio 2. Uh, let me go to the main screen. So, you must be on this version that got released on the 15th of November. Now, it is only for patrons at the moment. Uh, tells you different things there. It's a rework of the cargo container, standalone trailers, cargo matching pro feature, mask skins, color variants, dawn, multiple cargo mod fixes, improved extracting and packing the mods, no activation, blah, 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 blah. Um, so please make sure you're on the latest version. Uh, don't try and do this with the old version, it just won't work. So what you're going to do is you are going to get, where does I put my container? Folder from yesterday when I was testing this. So there I got. So you got a uh, twenty foot container and forty foot container. We're not going to do the fifty three one. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into your latest mod studio. And there we are. So we're going to go to data mod projects ATS ETS two should be exactly the same as well. Cargo container two, then you've got all your templates here, what you can use. 53 foot, 20 foot liquid, 20 foot, 40 foot, 40 foot. Told you there, ETS2, ATS, so they use the same containers. Uh, apart from those using 53 for ATS. Uh, but we're going to do the, we've done the 20 foot one, and we've done the 40 foot one. Uh, that one, sorry. So obviously you'll skin these how you want to skin them. Um. I would have done there. So that's just for testing purposes. So that's the 20 foot one. That's the um, 40 foot one. So we're going to go into Mod Studio. We're going to go New Project, ATS. Then go to Template. You're going to go to Cargo Container Version 2. Uh, read the information there, what it tells you there. If you can't find uh, it's optional in the game. So we're just going to use 40 and 20 today. So just name it what you want, what your skin is, which is going to be the first one. So we use poorly 20 for this first one. Like so. So we put the skin in there. Click that one. Add your image. Like so. Then 41. Again, add the image. Then you're going to get to cargo. Now this is where you can pick whatever cargo you want, basically. Now, I think I've done the battery one yesterday, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So what you can do is click uh, with the battery. So you click this part here, edit this item, like so. You'll then, let's pull that down so you can see. Leave the internal name, don't touch that. Change that to whatever you want to change it, where you see mine, change the car batteries. So change that to whatever you want. Make sure you've just got containers, click there. Don't touch none of this here, just leave it, because it's already done for you. Uh, body types, we just want containers, containers. So we'll click all them off. Scroll down. Uh, you can put minimum distance there if you want. You can put ADR class there if you want to put that in yourself. You can obviously click that if you want to click that. It'll then tell you where it's being picked, uh, where it's coming out of, where you can pick the trailers up from. And this is already pre done for you. So you ain't got to worry about clicking all of this. There you've got different shipping ports and stuff like that. And then you've got companies in, same thing again. It's already done for you. You ain't going to do all this. Okay, so you can leave that the way it is. And then go to the bottom. Put maximum distance there. I'm going to put 1,000. You've then got your cargo icon, icon like that. You can obviously put your own cargo icon here if you want to. If you click on that, this will give you the information. So that's going to be the size of your cargo icon if you want to do one yourself. Bit like your like your skin cargo, like your skin icon basically, but a different size. But you can leave that like that if you want to get rid of that. You'll then press save. We obviously ain't gonna press save because we've already got it done. So then you'll get car batteries. You'll click that. Go to mod manifest. Click cargo pack tra uh, trailer. Put what you want to. Put it there, we can put on and then we'll put fully shipping.
uh, all the rest is done. And then you're going to go export mod. Now I should already have one already in here. Call battery container. So we're going to go over that like that. Let that do its thing. We're going to go into game. Now you should have to, if you get yourself a trailer that carries the containers. And then make sure we've got the mod activated. Uh, I think that's it there from them lately. Paul is shipping. We did try the aircraft one the other day with the uh, actual cargo itself. So, yeah, we've got that one there. Let's go into the game. And then you should be able to check whether the trailer is actually working before you actually get into the game anyway. By going into uh, what is it, Trailer Explorer, I believe. Is that the one? Trailer Explorer, no, wrong one. Trailer Index, I think. Trailer Index. So if you could say Container Carrier. Oh yeah, Container Carrier. And then if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, car batteries. There's your shipping container. Okay, so you can click, you've got the 40 foot one, obviously you've got the 20 foot as well, and there's your 20 foot one. So obviously you're going to want to purchase this trailer. The, uh, I forgot they're called, isn't it? What's the actual trailer called? Let me have a look. Uh, the container, it's just called container carrier. I thought, it was, I thought that was called something different than that, to be fair. Um, so piece yourself container carrier uh, trailer up. And then you're going to go to jobs. You're going to go to cargo market. We're, we're in Sacramento at the mini. Car batteries, 15 ton. So we're just going to go pick that up. I think we're in the bloody night time as well. Yeah, I thought we was. Uh, I'm just going to zoom over there in console. We can't be fast driving because they've got to be set up. You zoom over there to pick it up. Whatever it is. Uh, down there. There we go. So we're going to go here, pick it up. We're going to drop the truck here. Collect. We're going to go to Cargo Market. You're going to pick your batteries, tag job. Uh, we're going to go into the truck. I'll oh, give it a mirror out of the way. Uh, I'll right go over there. We're going to pick the tra trailer up. I'm going to load the car, the container on basically. So, what we do is I'm going to press enter. And then you should see your container appear on the back of the trailer. Log so. And there you have it. There's your container. Obviously that will vary with the uh, different sizes that I'm using, so obviously you could end up using the, the small container if you uh, that's the one you picked. But yeah, so you can get that one, so it's take better. And there you are people. That's how you do your container and trailer. Do your own containers, so do them to how you want to do them yourself. Obviously, you, you pick and choose how you want to do them. Um, if anybody's wondering what the truck is, I'm using, using Jasper's new W900. I've just been testing to get the skin to it, to get the template released and the XML release of that, hopefully today, will be more. But yeah. So there you go, that's your container trailer done. So you can do it now, do your cargo on their own. And you can also do the trailer with the... Um, be your cargo in the trailer as well now be your shipping containers which I know some people after that would really want to do that so uh, regarding modded trailers this is just through mod studio 2 don't know, I don't think this works with modded trailers so not sure how it works with modded trailers with the cargo I presume the cargo is probably different I don't know but the containers this is just for the least you make your own containers at the end of the day so there you are people I hope that helps a few of you out um yeah i think i should be i should be ready for it i think that's all you need to do that took me what 10 minutes 
it might take you a bit longer if you want to mess about with the the uh, actual cargo instructions of what you want to use, what you want to put in there. That's your choice. And that's it, people. If you like the videos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you ain't already subscribed. Uh, always grateful for everybody's subscriptions. Uh, it's blown up the last few weeks. It's been quite good, to be fair. Uh, since we've done the paid truck the other week, that, that video went down really well, so thank you for that one. Uh, might be another one today for Jasper's truck for the skinning to show people what to do with the skinning because there's a lot of stuff to paint, paint on that truck. But apart from that, have yourselves a fantastic day, and I will speak to you soon. Take care.